Hey, 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 Med School Maisy. Continuing the antibiotic train. We're going to talk about chloramphenicol now. This is a drug that is not used that much in the United States because it's so dang expensive here. Uh, it doesn't make much sense because abroad, internationally, this drug is 40 cents a dose, uh, which is, you know, cheap. We're talking about uh, prescription drugs. But in any case, this is an antibiotic that is used to treat some very common uh, bugs. It's very broad spectrum, so internationally it's used a lot. Uh, like I said, it's cheap, broad spectrum. It treats some common bugs, not all of one family. So, for example, it's great against like Staph aureus, Strep pneumo, but it also hits E. coli, uh, <clears throat> those types of bugs. So, broad spectrum, cheap, and actually, for the purpose of this video, it's kind of nice because the mechanism of action of chloramphenicol is actually the exact same as macrolides, which we have another video on. Macrolides, as you probably know, like azithromycin, erythromycin, are used very commonly in the United States. Um, and they have that mechanism of action where excuse me, they work on that prokaryotic, that bacterial ribosome, right? So you have the 50S and you have the 30S, 50 and 30S, together making up that 70S subunit ribosome. Remember that the prokaryotes have all odd numbers. I'm talking about the ribosomes. Ribosomes are important for translation, so they get that RNA and they translate it into a new protein. The way that macrolides or chloramphenicol work is they bind to that P site. As best as we can determine, they bind to that P site and they prevent that peptide chain from growing anymore. Thus, they're bacteriostatic. They do not allow prokaryotic protein synthesis to occur. And because of that, then our bodies can you know do the trick and uh, get rid of that infection. So that's how chloramphenicol works. Not used so much here, but uh, internationally, you know, like our friends across the pond, they are uh, more than familiar with this guy. So thanks.